cup games are all about on the day. On our day, I think we can beat anyone. You've got to savour the occasion, and once you finally get there, you know, it, it's it's what we all play the game for. We've got people that have played 10 years and have only been in this position once or twice. With all due respect, Leeds aren't the team, do we? You know, these opportunities don't come around all the time, and, you know, it's do or die this Sunday. It's do or die this Sunday. It's do or die this Sunday. To be honest with you, I mean, it, it, it's like an omen really, isn't it? 25 years, you know, uh, obviously it'll be fantastic if we can win uh, on Sunday. But yeah, just like uh, we did when we won back in 86, uh, I think we played uh, Unsel in the first round, then we went to Barrow, then we had a, a tie that we didn't want, which was Wigan away. Uh, Wigan were high flying at that time, you know, the top team, and no one uh, gave us a chance. And uh, we went to Central Park and, uh, and we beat them and we, it's funny enough, we, I only watched the video uh, a couple of weeks ago and they had a massive pack, you know, and as I say, we, you know, we weren't expected to beat them, but we went and we all, you know, stuck about our business, you know, we all had our own job to do and, uh, and we won quite comfortable in the end. It shows how far Castleford have come over, come as a club, doesn't it? That you're still in this competition and you know still considered, you know, a contender to win it. Yeah, definitely, it's a, you know the big three and then the poor relation. Us, we're sort of making up the numbers if uh, if you listen to a few people. But no, you know the cup suits us. It's a style, a uh, comp style of competition that you know we fancy ourselves in. It's one-off games uh, the whole way through in sudden death. And you know if we can get in there and cause a few upsets that like we probably did last week again. Huddersfield then we're all for it and you know fingers crossed we keep going with that. Is that something you think comes naturally to you? Castleford, or do you think it's something you've had to work at over the years? To be honest, I think we've always had a side that, you know, with our small squads and all that sort of stuff, that, you know, over the course of a whole league, uh, we do suffer and it makes us tough. It makes it tough on us. But, you know, the, the side we've got now suited to one-off games, and, and you know, on our day, I think we can beat anyone, and uh, that's what we have to do for two more games. So fingers crossed, it all goes to plan. Cup games are all about on the day, and uh, a couple of years prior to that, once again we went to Wigan, it was postponed because of the, you know, we'd, we'd actually got there and it was frozen over and once again nobody expected us to do anything. We went back in midweek and, and once again beat them. And I think we proved that over the years that cup games are one-offs and it's how you prepared mentally and physically, uh, but a lot of it is mentally and, uh, you know, you've got to overcome that and as I say, it's all on the day. And I think this weekend, Cass have got a great chance, you know, because with all due respect, Leeds aren't the team they were. And uh, I think both clubs got the draw they both wanted. You know, obviously Leeds were, you know, delighted they got Castleford and vice versa, you know, because I think, I genuinely believe that Cass think they can beat Leeds at weekend, on the weekend. You know, Terry Matteson has announced he'll be believing at the end of the season after six years of hard work here at Castleford. Does that start to come into the players' minds now? You know, you're 80 minutes from Wembley big game against Leeds Rhinos and you could give Terry, you know, the yeah, send off possible. You're right, it's, it's funny how things uh, work out and it wasn't long ago that Terry announced that he was going. Um, he actually talked to me, I think I'm the only one still playing at the moment apart from Craig Hubie that's injured that came when Terry was here so uh, we're sort of the last two left at the moment and um, you know he mentioned we've been through a few highs and a few lows um, but you know, maybe the biggest highs not yet to come, and hopefully, uh, not only for his sake, but for the playing group and all that. You know, we can send him out on on what will be the biggest high. So um, it's funny how things work out. And as I said, there's always some sort of fairy tale story, and hopefully, it's ours this year. Just mentioning Terry there, I'm sure he'll have been reminding the players of you know the success you, your team had 25 years ago, and I'm, I'm sure that's gonna that's gonna play a part in the build to kick off. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, I've spoke to players like Ryan McGoldrick and, and the other week as was with Danny O. 
and Brett Ferris and you know we were talking about it and as I said to him it, 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 you know you've got to savour the occasion and once you finally get there you know it, it's it's what we all play the game for you know it's, it's the top prize uh, you know without a doubt we, we, as I say when we played there we were beaten three times in three semi-finals before we eventually got there. But we stuck at it, and, and eventually we got there. And, uh, and as I say, we, we savoured the occasion, and it, you know, it's, it's just a fantastic day. They always say your next game is the most important, but uh, it really is. It's got so much riding on it, and you know, it was difficult having St Helens uh, on the weekend before because I think you know a lot of us did have our eyes on, on this one on, on Sunday. But yeah, it, it's right. There's no no tomorrows with uh, with the Challenge Cup. If we lose this one then we're out of the competition you know with the league you can make a few wrongs and still put it right you've got the whole season to do that but this is sudden death so there's no tomorrows with this one and the thing that makes it so unique is you might not get another chance at it you know depending on draws and and all that sort of stuff you know we've got people that have played 10 years and have only been in this position once or twice and you know that's what the young blokes need to grab hold of as well is that you know these opportunities don't come around all the time and you know it's do or die this Sunday.